Isn't she the sweetest? Thank you so much. She also gave me a bag of some of her merch as well. And it is the absolute cutest thing. And so many sticker sheets as well. That's what this frog one is. And then some bears. It's a little garden duck. Oh my god. I'm feeling so spoiled. She is Bipao Bun on Instagram and I believe across all her socials as well. Look at what Tyler got me. It's so pretty. We're almost there. I'm starving. The only thing I had today was some snacks and 
It is day two of Anime Week in Atlanta. I have a lot of my inventory still in stock, but I also brought a whole lot. So I'm hoping, I mean, if I sell out, that's wonderful. And I'm hoping I don't run out of stock for the next two days. I think everyone's super, super hopeful on Saturday and Sunday turning out really well. And all the attendees here have been super, super sweet. I don't think I've gotten any comments at all about my prices which has been really, really pleasant. Here's a little quick fit check for today, if I can get myself back. Okay, take two.
since we're back home, I slept a whole lot. Now let's talk about Anime Week in Atlanta. This was my first out-of-state convention and first convention in the East Coast. But since this was an out-of-state convention and I did bring my boyfriend along as a helper, my overhead expenses were hefty. The artist alley table fee was $300 for three days, and our spot came with one six-foot table, two chairs, and two badges. The convention itself was actually four days since it started on Thursday, October 26. However, artist alley and exhibitors hall was not open on Thursday, and that was our setup day instead. Flights for me and my helper was $947.92, and our hotel was $232.45. Ubers to and from the convention, hotel, and airport was $129.73, and we spent $281.49 on our food for the weekend. And keep in mind, I had a helper with me, so I was paying double the amount for our flights and our food for the weekend. If it was just me, my food costs would have been significantly lower, and my flight costs would have been cut in half. So if you're planning on doing the event solo, your costs could look very different. And it comes down to whether you think having a helper there is worth the extra overhead expenses. I personally wanted my boyfriend there as moral support for my first East Coast Con, and we just wanted to go to the Giorgio Aquarium together. So for me personally, the extra overhead expenses was worth it, and it was just a fun traveling experience together. We also shared our hotel room and split most of our Uber rides with a fellow artist friend, which helped reduce some of those expenses. And since I love analyzing sale patterns, here's a closer look at my sales data. Saturday was the best day of sales for me, followed by Friday and Sunday. But do keep in mind that the convention ended at 5 p.m. instead of 7 p.m. on Sunday, so I think Sunday's sales numbers could have rivaled Friday if we had those extra two hours. My top three selling categories of items were stickers, art prints, and acrylic charms. I sold 214 stickers, 88 art prints, and 80 acrylic charms. I have deals running on all three of these items during conventions as well, which usually helps with increasing sales. As for the convention itself, I really enjoyed it. We were right next to the autographs, um, the Cabbage Man from Avatar specifically, so I heard my cabbages like more in two days than I ever have in my entire lifetime, but it was fun. And I honestly just love the experience of meeting new artists, seeing mutual artist friends, seeing old artists, looking at all the cute art, making all the art trades. It honestly just fills me with so much joy every single time. And for this convention, the amount I made was worth the effort, the long hours, the hefty overhead expenses. I would do it again if they gave me the chance to come back. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. I hope to make more. See you next time. How do you make an outro?